All right, guys, got the R5C here. I figured I would test the low light capabilities. This is extremely high ISO. We're at um, 32,000 facing the light. There's a, there's a street light across the street. I'm in the parking lot and I figured I'd try it out with the glasses on. We'll see how it holds focus. Right now it looks like it's doing really good. Again, this is the R5C. I just, yeah, fooling around tonight, so I figured I would do a, um, a high ISO. Because I've been impressed with this camera at how well it does in extremely high ISOs. I've had it all the way up to a 102.4, 102,400, and uh, I thought, it, you know, I mean, it's nothing you would obviously sell or use, but if I had to use the footage, like, say, on a YouTube channel, I would. I would, because it was that good. So, um... I'm going to turn as I'm talking to you guys, and uh, this is a backlit, and uh, let's try the facing this way, and we'll get farther away. Like I said, it is across the street. That's the light right there. And Oh, and I've got this on face priority, not face only. The thing is, face only would definitely be even better. It would lock in, but this again is an extremely high. I'm at 80,000 right now. Extremely high ISO. Just wanted to test out. Got the glass. I'm leaving my glasses on to screw it up even more and see how it does. But the cool thing about the R5C, because it's a cinema camera, it also has, um, like I said, it has face um, only, which would mean it would only lock on your face and not do anything else. Right now it's face priority. So if I move out, it will focus on something else. But um, if you put it on face only, that doesn't happen. So that's a pretty cool thing. Uh, I've been really, like I said again, I've got an R3 and an R5. I've been really impressed with the R5C's low light capabilities for a while now. And I did a video the other night. I might post that still. I was like, at, like I said, 102.4. Um, I may still post it. Um, but I wanted to do a little better one tonight just to, you know, give an idea of what I'm doing so this is it and um, it looks to me like it's doing really well uh, yeah looks like it's doing really well and uh, we're at 51 2 now because I walked a little closer let's walk a farther away we'll get this thing to shoot up okay and again that street lights across that street light is across the street to begin with so I'm surprised that it's still 102.4. Okay, this is 102,000 ISO. Oh, like the camera's on full automatic everything. I'm not doing anything. This is all the camera, um, full auto everything. I'm not doing a thing but holding it. That's it. Uh, I gotta admit, man, I was thinking about getting rid of this. Nah, I love this camera. I really like it, and I, I like my other one. So I think it's gonna be sticking around. Um, anyways, this is it, guys. This is high ISO. Wanted to run a quick high ISO test to see how she would do in high ISO, 102.4. That was that back there. Now I'm coming in, and this is, it's going down. It is at 51.2. I'll walk again. I can't, I'm not going to go across the street, but I'll walk closer to it and bring this down as low as we can. We are down to 16, to 12, 8, to 10 and 8,000. This is 8,000 ISO right here. So this is 8,000 ISO and um, I had a moron looking at the camera. That's, that's, this is the, that was 8,000. Now when I walk away again, it's going to start um, climbing. So, all right guys, that's it. Just wanted to check it out. We'll do a quick, you know, video, show you the low light capabilities and, um, uh, that's that. All right, y'all have a great night. Bye.